ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون My brothers and sisters, the Prophet ﷺ was a protection for this ummah when he was alive. But after he left ﷺ, his protection continued through his teachings. He warned us ﷺ that living the life of this dunya would become difficult. So difficult that living in oppression and sin, it will surround us. And it will, easy, it will be easier to find yourself in fitna and confusion than living in peace. and holding on to Islam. So before he left, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, these following words, Innam bayni yadayi sa'ah haraj, before the hour, there will be a lot of killing. And then he told us, in the remaining of this hadith, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what we should do. Satakoon fitna, there is going to be a fitna, there is going to be trials, there are going to be confusion. But then he told us how to have salvation in such a confusing time. He taught us how we can protect ourselves. So he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Al-Qa'id fiha khayrun min al-Qa'im. The person who is sitting during that fitna is better than the person who is standing. Wal-Qa'im fiha khayrun min al-Mashi. And the person who is standing is better than the one who is walking. Inni al-Sa'id naman junnib al-Fitn. Surely the happy one, he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Surely the happy one is the one who is able to stay away from the fitna The person who is able to stay away from the trials and the confusion But if you don't, the hadith goes on, he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam فَأَيُّ قَلْبٍ أُشْرِبَهَا Whichever heart or soul gets involved Whichever person gets himself involved نُكِتَ فِيهِ نُكْتَةٌ سَوْدَى In that person's heart In that person's soul, there will be a black dot on it and a stain that will not go away. But if a person abstains, he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, وَأَيُّ قَلْبٍ أَنْكَرَهَا And any heart and soul which rejects it and stays away, نُكِتَ فِيهِ نُكْتَةٌ بَيْضَى They will have a white and a clear dot on his heart, on his soul. فَلَا تَدُّرُهُ فِتْنَةٌ And this person will not be harmed then by the fitna. My brothers and sisters, fitna means discord. Fitna means confusion. A person cannot tell what is right from what is wrong. Fitna is when people are being trialed in themselves, in their wealth, in their honor, and even in lives and countries as we are seeing today. But the Salaf, rahimahullah, understood what fitna is and they understood the teachings of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in how they should react to the fitna. There was an incident that took place at the time of the companions. And there was a lot of fitna at the time of the companions. The killing was everywhere. Confusion was everywhere. Fitna was everywhere. But Jundub ibn Abdullah radiallahu anh, was sitting once in a gathering at the time of fitna. And there were army generals around him. And there was a man called As'as ibn Salama. Jundub, the companion, famous companion, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, told the people not to get involved in the fitna. And he even said that this happened at the time of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Whilst the mushriks were killing the Muslims, a man from the Muslim, he went to a person from the mushriks and he killed that person. Even though the mushrik, before he was killed, he said, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. This person now apparently becomes a Muslim. But the Muslim soldier kills him nonetheless. This person was Usama bin Zayd radiallahu So the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam rejected what this person had done. Usama comes to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, proud, thinking that he's done a good deed, thinking that he's put an end to the oppression and the fitna. But the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said to Usama, كيف تسنع بلا إله إلا الله يوم القيامة؟ كيف تسنع 
bila ilaha illallah yawm qiyamah he kept repeating the same words messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam what are you going to do with la ilaha illallah on the day of judgment usama sought forgiveness in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jundub radiyallahu an he said look what happened to usama once the majlis was over jundub was exhorting them and advising them and all of them left the fitna all of them left the politics but jundub goes on to explain as been narrated in some narrations after usama had killed this person usama ibn zaid radiyallahu an never got involved in fitna in politics thereafter he completely abstained because of the reminder that he had from the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam كيف تسنع بلا اله الا الله يوم القيامة what are you going to do with لا اله الا الله يوم القيامة what are you going to do when you think something is right but in actual fact it's the opposite so he abstained completely to the point that one of the major companions Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas radiyallahu anhu he swore by Allah that he will never get involved with any kind of fitna unless if he sees Usama ibn Zaid getting involved before him reason why because he knew that Usama ibn Zaid was somebody who was cautious when it comes to fitna but also what we learn from this my brothers and sisters that the affairs of the muslim ummah need to go back to the ulama sa'ad ibn abi waqqas refused to get involved not because it is not the right thing to do but because he wanted precedence from the ulama and direction from the ulama before he got involved so once his son sa'ad ibn abi waqqas his son radiyallahu anhu he says to him why are you not getting involved with the war why are you not getting involved with the fitna his response the companion radiyallahu anhu he said uskut remain quiet my son inna allah yuhibbu al-'abd at-taqi al-ghani al-khafi surely allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the servant who has taqwa he knows what is right and he follows it and he knows what is wrong and he abstains from it he is self sufficed he doesn't need the people for his risk and he is hidden away from the fitna not absorbed by the people and what they are following my brothers and sisters this is the understanding of the companions their understanding should be our understanding when it comes to fitna the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he told us and he warned us fa inna min wara'ikum ayyam sabr surely ahead of you are days of patience the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam goes on to tell us in this hadith innahu satakun furqa wa ikhtilaf surely there's going to be division and differing within this muslim ummah but look at the advice from the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam for the kind of kadalik faqsir sayfaq if this is the situation and you see the fitna then break your sword waqid fi baytik and sit in your home so abu dhar abu dhar radiyallahu anhu he asks the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam what should be our response then o messenger of allah would i not carry a weapon with me just in case the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no idhan to shark if you carry a weapon with you then you will be exactly like them my brothers and sisters the salaf of this ummah had this understanding they saw it all they saw islam as a minority they saw islam as a majority they saw islam prosper and they saw also islam being tested the response from them were twofold number one don't get involved in the fitna abstain from the fitna this doesn't mean that you don't help your brothers and sisters but abstaining here meaning referring back to the scholars and referring back to the people of ilm because you will be questioned on the day of judgment for the things that you say and the things that you do and as we have seen my brothers and sisters people who do not have these principles and going back to the way of the ulama of the salaf then what has happened when they have got involved to fitna when they did not have these principles allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to take caution wattaqu fitnatan la tusibanna alladhina yadhallamu minkum khassa wa'lamu anna allah shadid al-iqab اقول ما سمعتم واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولجميع المسلمين فاستغفروا انه هو غفور رحيم استغفر الله استغفر الله لي ولكم المسلمين الحمد لله الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله ما بعد ما بدنا سيستر ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم also told us as we get closer to the hour several liars will appear imposters will appear and jahl will spread he said in a hadith which is sahih he described the end of days as sinun khadda years of deception 
يصدق فيها الكاذب ويكذب فيها الصادق the liar will be believed and the truthful will be disbelieved with this we have to then understand my brothers and sisters that this religion does not have shirk in it wa ilahukum ilahu wahid this religion is not a religion where we claim that the quran the speech of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is incomplete allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says la ya'tihi al-batil min bayni yadayhi wa la min khalfihi tanzilun min hakim hamid this religion bears witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is our prophet and our imam and our leader and there aren't imams and people who are more pious and greater than him وَلَكِنْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَخَاتِمِ النَّبِيِينَ This religion is a religion which loves and respects and follows and defends the companions and doesn't disgrace them or harm them or ridicule them or even claim that they are upon kufr وَالَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوَانِ my brothers and sisters, Islam is aqeedah, and aqeedah Islam. If a person believes in kufr, this will never be accepted from him, and the religion can never be defended from within by people who have kufr in their beliefs. This is because the Messenger of Allah وسلم, has also even told us years of deception, deception, lies, the truthful person will be seen as the liar, and the liar will be seen as the truthful. This is a time of fitna that we live in, my brothers and sisters. And as the Messenger of Allah وسلم, also described, as the fitna gets worse, those people who remain firm upon the correct aqeedah and know how to react to fitna correctly, they are the ones who will be saved. Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم على خير البرية وأسكى بشرية قال تعالى إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أشلح حوال المسلمين في كل مكان يا رب العالمين اللهم انصرهم في فلسطين وفي غزة يا رب العالمين اللهم عليك بأعدائهم يا رب العالمين اللهم تهي المسجد الأقصى من يهود الغاصبين اللهم عليك بهم فإنهم لا يجزونك اللهم احسيهم أددا واقتلهم بددا ولن تغادر منهم أهدا اللهم آت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الفتن ما ظهر منها وما بطن اللهم آت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث أسلح لنا شأننا كله ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا ترفة عين اللهم اشف مرضانا وارحم موتانا وآف مبتلانا اللهم آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا ذاب النار عباد الله اذكر الله يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تسنعون